So our regular weekly update on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, today is October 4th, and we have a few updates. It was actually an exciting week. Uh, so first, two uh, quotations. One is from Bill Gates, AI is the first technology that has no limit. Uh, he was invited on television and spoke about AI. And another is from Elon Musk, uh, pace of innovation is all that matters in the long run. Well, innovation in AI we have. <laughs> so first big event, October 1st, uh, there was um, OpenAI Dev Day. So it uh, was one day event. They made a lot of announcements. The previous one was uh, last year in November. So this is the second Dev Day. And uh, Jose Gregorio Argomeda um, from Chile, he was there and he sent me his notes and allowed me to use them. So I shortened them a little bit, uh, but uh, especially from Sam Altman's uh, speech. So Sam uh, was talking about uh, towards uh, AGI, uh, artificial general intelligence. He was talking about agents and he believes that next year will be when agents will become smarter and really useful, truly functional. And he also said that as we get closer and closer to AGI, the definition of AGI becomes uh, blurred because, uh, well, we're already past the Turing test, right? <laughs> Which was supposed to be definition of AGI. And uh, we know that we're not there yet, so we're moving. Uh, he, he spoke about uh, level two AGI, and uh, which is uh, reasoning, uh, feedback, uh, step by step, and this is all one models, which already available. Acceleration of scientific discovery. So he believes that it will be absolutely pivotal when AI researcher will be actually better and faster than human researcher. There will be a huge milestone. AI agents transforming work and productivity. So agents as virtual employees, uh, agents can do in hour what uh, humans will do in months. And you can use multiple agents uh, to do complex tasks, and this is coming. Uh, safety and alignment as priorities. Well, he explained that he, and this is probably the difference uh, between him and Ilya, because Ilya wanted to solve the safety first, whereas, uh, Sam believes that you release it and then you improve it. Uh, but first you release it and you release it uh, iteratively. First a small group, then for bigger group, and then you think, well, it's good enough, let's release it to everybody. Uh, O1 is the most capable, uh, but at the same time is most aligned model at uh, this moment. Uh, building new models first and make them safer over time. So this is his approach. Anticipated advancements. So if you go on OpenAI website, news, product, you will see a lot of things. Uh, and uh, some of them were uh, shown on this event. Uh, for example, a real-time voice API, speech to speech. So you can talk uh, quite advanced uh, interface, uh, but at the same time now it's available through API. So you can develop applications which allow users to talk to them. Uh, prompt caching, uh, repetitive questions, you can prompt them, uh, uh, cache the prompts and I guess responses and this will uh, decrease the cost. Uh, model distillation, uh, they provide interfaces to train smaller specialized models, but again to use them you have to go through the API and they charge for everything. And GPT-40 vision fine tuning of images. So the, 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 this is really great because uh, you can easily uh, train on your own images for detection, extraction, analysis, and so on. So here I provided all uh, the links, but it was very, very impressive. Uh, more. So OpenAI has raised uh, $6.6 .6 billion. The evaluation before the money was $150 billion, so after the money $157 billion. The major investors, uh, Microsoft, NVIDIA, SoftBank, MGX, and others. Apple uh, did not participate. Uh, originally they wanted, but then they decided no. So revenue projections for this year is 3.7 billion, uh, but 5 billion loss because of all the costs. 
uh, in two years, it should be 25 billion a year, in like five years, 100 billion a year. So these are projections, uh, but the company definitely grows. They also opened $4 billion revolving credit line. I want to have a credit card with $4 billion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so uh, OpenAI, uh, some st stats from last dev day in 23 to this dev day. 98% decrease in cost per token from GPT-4 to GPT-40 mini. So this, this is really huge. Uh, 50 times increase in token volume across our systems, excellent model intelligence. Yeah, Elon Musk posted that OpenAI is evil uh, because apparently uh, Sam or OpenAI was asking investors to not invest uh, into competitors like Anthropic and Musk's AI. So uh, Musk was upset by that. Um, OpenAI ChatGPT Canvas. Um, well, this is similar to Anthropic's uh, feature where you ask the questions, you chat, and on the side, you have the panel where you can see the result. And the result may be text, it may be uh, some code, and you can actually run the code interactively. So you can interact. Uh, 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 seeing the, the final result and, and improving it. So this is very valuable and now OpenAI has uh, something similar. Uh, they also introduced uh, shortcuts. So when you're uh, making prompt, you can make slash and then uh, picture or search or reason. And then you say, for example, picture quantum computer to generate pictures or search quantum computer and it will do searching or reason explain quantum computing and it will answer this. So this is the way to tell the model like uh, kind of exactly what kind of action you wanted to perform. Okay, next uh, Salesforce agent force. Uh, so, you know, Salesforce is a huge company and they exist for more than 20 years. 90% of uh, Fortune 500 companies are using it. And uh, they have people, call centers for customer service, sales, whatever. And everybody has a headphone on the ear and screen with Salesforce. And as they talk to clients, uh, they enter something in Salesforce. So now, instead of assisting people, Salesforce actually creating independent autonomous agents. And you can just go, this is the screen from Salesforce, and you can go click, 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 and you create, uh, clone those agents. There are two types of agents, autonomous, which can work independently, and they can talk to clients, or assistive, meaning they're helping human salespeople or customer service reps. And uh, because it's coming from Salesforce, these agents are already embedded in the platform. So they have access to all the data of the company, all the customers and so on. So this is very, very powerful. And I want to compare it with Star Wars clone troopers, because now you can clone your troops. <laughs> Okay, um, liquid AI non-transformer models. So liquid AI, so this is the website liquid.ai. They came up with a series of models and this is very exciting. I don't have data like extensive testing, but what's interesting, it is not transformer. It's not open source. It uses much less compute. As you can see here, the memory versus output length uh, and uh, th this is the model. You see uh, how, how much less memory it needs. Um, but at the same time, it outperforms larger transformer models. The uh, sizes of the models, 1.3 billion, 3.1 billion, and 40 billion. Uh, and it is MOE, the mixture of experts, uh, only 12B activated for this model. I think smaller models are dense models. The output is 32 uh, kilo token context length. So this is this is not much, but th this is good enough for most tasks. So this is very exciting and very interesting because it's not transformer to see if not transformer can effectively compete. Uh, more news. Uh, th there was a lot of discussion uh, whether code like software code will survive for how long because uh, you don't need code when you have weights in the network. And the famous example is Google Translate. 
they originally had uh, hundreds of thousands of lines of code with all this if else, like if this uh, word is before this word or at the end of the sentence, then translate it like this or translate it like that. But then they just created a transformer and they train the model. Um, it's very repetitive, very mechanical, very easy process. You don't need linguists, you don't need software engineers uh, to achieve functionality with a much better quality than the original translation was. And uh, where is the code? Well, there's no code, there are weights in the network. So this transition, so people argue that uh, not only AI will write the code, but in fact, they will achieve the results without the code and there will be no need to write the code. Uh, next, uh, Microsoft Copilot Labs and Copilot Vision. So Copilot Labs is uh, a playground uh, where uh, pro users, like paid users, can have uh, early access to some advanced experimental features. Now, Vision uh, allows uh, Copilot to see what's on your screen and then you can interact with it. You can ask questions. So, for example, you're browsing for shoes and then you can ask, uh, will these shoes go with my blue jeans and white shirt? And Copilot will answer. So, interesting. Uh, Microsoft Paint was also upgraded. So now uh, you can generate, uh, for example, AI, feel and erase features. And this is really like in Photoshop. So this is uh, quite advanced. This, this is great. AI bots now beat 100% of image capture. You know, Google's recapture where they show you pictures and ask you to select where you have like a car or something. So <laughs> now this AI bots can absolutely 100% beat it and pass as humans. Okay. Next, uh, who wins from AI? Well, this is interesting. So big tech firms, of course, like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, Tesla, whatever, you name it. Computing infrastructure and chip makers, Nvidia, Qualcomm, Micron, Intel, AMD, Samsung, whatever, all of them. Uh, companies which uh, collect data or own some domain specific data, this is extremely valuable. Intellectual property lawyers, yes. Uh, big four like Deloitte, Esther Young, KPMG, uh, it is, so these are accounting firms, but there are also financial firms. There are also, I don't know, all kinds of firms like Amazon, for example, or whatever. Uh, certain countries like China and US have advantage uh, there ahead of uh, others. Uh, now, human-centric skills like social worker, therapists and educators, at this point, they cannot be substituted by AI. So they survive well. Um, Google works on models with advanced reasoning. So the O1 model from OpenAI uses chain of thought, COT. But what's interesting that it was actually developed by Google in 2022. And now they're developing their own models similar to O1. They're not released yet, but they're working on it. Google DeepMind Alpha chip for fast cheap design so you know that google uh, develops and uses their own models the tpu tensor processing units and maybe some other chips and uh, you know uh, models like alpha go to play the go or alpha zero or alpha fold alpha code alpha there are so many alpha models created by DeepMind, uh, and now they have alpha chip and alpha chip allows uh, create a graph and uh, create uh, the map of the chip like really, really fast. So this is great, of course. Uh, Google releases Gemini 1.5 Flash 8B. So this is a new model. It is better, faster because it's smaller and it's available only on the cloud and it's also very cheap. Uh, Pythagora. Uh, so you can talk to build applications from scratch. There are a lot of presentations about it and a lot of excitement. Uh, so what you do, you talk to it and you explain uh, what applications you want, what it needs to do, and it will create, it's like a full stack developer and it can write a lot of code. So they can go up to 10,000 lines, 
But if you stick with like 3,000 to 5,000, there's experience absolutely magical, high quality. People are really, really excited. So you basically can talk to it, tell it what you want application to do, and it does the whole application from scratch. Uh, Apple MM 1.5, multimodal LLM. Uh, so it's a new family of multimodal uh, models. Uh, Text-rich image understanding, multi-image reasoning, uh, sizes from 1 billion to 30 billion parameters, dense and mixture of experts variants. So they have uh, now something for video understanding and for um, UI, user interface understanding. Uh, very interesting progress from Apple. Uh, now, RLHF with mixture of judges. So you know RLHF, which is reinforcement learning with human feedback. So basically, you are training model to predict how a human will react. And then you use it to when you're training the model. Now, the question is how you, you train the RLHF itself. And uh, there is a new approach. It's coming from Meta, Facebook. And they're using uh, what, what they call mixture of judges models to properly perform multitask LHF in post-training. Okay, so this is the link for archive article. Lexeval, uh, benchmark to evaluate LLMs in legal domain, <laughs> specifically for, for legal. Interesting. Okay, next, uh, Pinterest. Uh, well, Pinterest was using AI for a while now. Uh, uh, the recent one, they started using it to help advertisers to create images like for commercial use. Uh, Flux 1.1. Uh, so there was Flux 1, which was very, very good text to image generator. Uh, it is by Black Forest Labs in Germany, and uh, they produce really high quality images. So the new version, which is 1.1 Pro, it is six times faster, at the same time, better image quality, prompt adherence, and diversity. And they also made the previous version run twice faster, although with the same quality as before. Now, Californian Governor Gavin Newsom uh, vetoed this new legislation, AI legislation. So this is his picture, this is picture of California. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I think it's good because I think it's too early to uh, try restricting. Um, in uh, Europe, they already uh, created some laws and because of that they have problems like many AI uh, applications and vendors from US for example simply cannot go into Europe and offer their services. Uh, now another uh, Dirk Kingmar uh, who is uh, one of lesser known co-founders of OpenAI uh, he is joining Anthropic so uh, he's not the first one who leaves OpenAI to join Anthropic. Uh, well, with him, he's one of the original co-founders of OpenAI. So OpenAI is losing people, but at the same time, they're shipping like crazy. They're doing such a great progress. So amazing. Okay, next, uh, crowdsourced Arena leaderboard. Well, we see it every week. Uh, O1, uh, ChatGPT, O1 Mini. So these are all top three places is OpenAI, as you can see. The green dots are open source, and the top is Meta Llama, big model, 400 billion parameters. And then we have uh, Meta Llama, 70 billion parameters. And then Athena is also Meta fine-tuned. Quen 2.5, I really like it. This is from China, from Alibaba, and this is a really good model. I highly, highly recommend it. It's available on Hugging Face chat. Uh, DeepSeek is a small model, but it's good at coding and, and some other models. Okay, and this is uh, for coding queries. And again, you see MetaLama, DeepSeek, uh, Quen 2.5. So, okay, good. And the first place again, it's O1 Mini, O1 Preview, ChatGPT. So, OpenAI takes all three first places. <laughs> so good. good. Uh, now, uh, tech layoffs, so if you look example uh, for September and September, so you see uh, comparing with previous uh, year, there are not a lot of layoffs. October just started, so we don't have statistics. Okay, this is me and thank you.